Dream Team, it's your favorite duo, Darian and Mackenzie. Back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with the Inbetweener Season 3, Episode 3, Wheels Dilemma. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, ring notification bell, the video a thumbs up so it gets suggested. What do we got? Neil was about to turn 18, and to celebrate this landmark, his mum was behind him an early grad. I just want to say, I love the first couple of minutes of this episode. Like, I, I found it absolutely hilarious what's about to happen. What do you think? <laughs> Best present ever. Mate, you're gonna hoover up the snatch on there. I know. Can't wait to get this cast off and go for a burn. Does your mum always buy you gifts this extravagant? Not really, but it's from the 18th, isn't it? And she did run off. Why are you getting a bike when you've already got a car? Motorbikes are cooler. Until you hit a bus and kill yourself. Oh, don't listen to Captain Sensible here. It's the old McClunge magnet. It's a well-known fact, if you can get a bird on the back of one of these, they just cream their knickers because of the vibration. Is it? Yeah. That's why there are no female superbike champions. They all get too horny and have to stop and fub themselves off all the time. Neil, how on earth is Jay allowed to ride your bike back without a licence or insurance? Don't shit your pants off in safety. Neil can't do it because of his arm, and the dealer's happy for me to take it because I used to be a stunt rider. It rhymes with stunt. Well, we know that's bollocks. Is it? Because I can show you a DVD of me leaping over five lorries on Blue Peter if you like. Oh, wow, did you make it into the Guinness Book of Fictional Records? Fuck off. <laughs> I don't think Tara would be happy if I got one of these. She thinks they're death traps. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, time for another Tara update. What's that supposed to be? <laughs> Nothing. Just because no one cares what Tara says or does, don't let that stop you from mentioning her every 40 seconds. <laughs> Have you a dick? Don't mention her that much. You do, mate. Oh, pardon me for having a girlfriend. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Who's taking it back then? I am. And you say you're used to motorbikes? Of course. Dad used to drink with Lance Armstrong. What, a cyclist? Uh, yeah. Right. Well, hop on. I'll just show you the basics in case it's different from what you've ridden before. Yeah, can do. These are the gears, these are the brakes. And they're for stopping, right? Yeah, I presume you want to stop. Maybe. Can you even show that again? Nah, nah, it's all right. You never forget. It's like riding a bike, isn't it? He said, I think he's used to left hand drive. <laughs> bro, he did last two seconds. I swear to God, bro, I don't know why I found it so funny, but that kills me every time I see it, bro. Biden's skills weren't quite as good as he claimed. His ability to praise an attempt was unparalleled. I should fucking sue him. Those tyres had no grip. They don't tend to grip so well when they're up in the air. Oh my God, that is amazing. You look such a knob. What about your bike, Neil? I know, the way he said he could ride it and then he fell off and put his head straight through that door. It's got to be the funniest thing I've ever seen. No, I mean, what are you going to do about your bike? It's not only still in Jillian, it's now fucked. Oh no! So that's your mum's gift destroyed, what's it again? I'm getting a party on Friday, aren't I? You mean you're having a party? No, I'm getting a party for me 18th, the party, that's my present. Ha! <laughs> you got me fucking joking, that's it! Why is that funny? Well, I'm just saying, and no offence, mate, but a party around your house is the pikiest 18th present I've ever heard of. Leave it out, he's not got that much money at the moment. Oh, what, spending all on butt plugs, is he? No, because he already owns every single one <laughs> in the world. Yeah, brilliant, well done. So who's coming then, Neil? Oh, it's mostly family, but I'm allowed to invite ten friends. Ten? Oh, that's generous, considering you haven't got ten friends. Fuck off! Oh, I don't think you are. <laughs> well, I... It, oh, shit! Man, I'm not going to get ten people to come along. I'm just telling your sister's going to be naked and your dad's promised not to bum them. Be <laughs> eight. <laughs> oh, ask Tara, see what she's up to. Yeah, nice one. Has she got any fit mates? I bet so. I'm going to meet one of them after school tomorrow. I thought we'd go to Waterside tomorrow, to the cinema. Yeah, we are, but uh, Tara and Kerry are coming too. Oh, I'm well up for that. Yeah, I need to go waterside anyway, I'm nearly out of pants. Um, you two aren't invited, it's like a double date. Whoa, what? I didn't agree to this. Oh, come on, Will. Apparently Kerry's been having a bit of a tough time recently, and Tara thinks you two would get on really well, so I said you'd be cool. Yes, but a date's quite a big thing. What do you think Will date gonna look like? Probably ugly. You think she's gonna be ugly? But like, sometimes the best friends are. <laughs> I will. I never got with no ugly girl so far. I'm saying that's a maybe. She could be cute. But if she is cute, he's just gonna ruin it. Well, she's gonna have to be one or the other. You can't guess. She could be ugly or she could be cute. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> I think she would be ugly. 
Okay. I mean, do you know what she looks like? I've not seen her, but Tara says she's amazing and gorgeous. No, I bet she's a right dog. <laughs> Just because you're not invited. <laughs> no, she said girls always think their mates are really fit, and then when you meet them, they look like a pork scratching. Yeah, I did be loud that day. I just, I just admitted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been some girls that she told me she thought was cute that I looked at and I was like. That's because the ones you think. I ain't gonna say because it, it just makes me look bad. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be some ones that you be thinking is top fit, and they be ugly. We just got different taste. We yeah. see things, different perspectives, we see things differently. To be fair, Tara's pretty spot on about most things. <laughs> this conversation is specifically about Tara! <laughs> At best, I reckon this Kerry's a mid-level munter. I'm sure she's not. Honestly, Will, Tara says she's fit. Plus, and I probably shouldn't even tell you this, but apparently Kerry's given her last three boyfriends blowjobs. Seriously? Yep. Well, why didn't you say what time we met him then? <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't own a tracksuit, I'd never seen the appeal of hanging out in a shop. Well, and said, to guy. <laughs> While Simon and Tara explored the deepest recesses of each other's mouths, I was on a date with a girl who gave out blowjobs, so things were looking up. And by things, I mean me. This is fun, fun double date. <laughs> we're just shopping. What you think? Well, she's pretty. She's just really tall compared to him. Yeah, I wouldn't say she was. Like, she kind of looks like his mother. <laughs> I swear to God, he's so small, bro. But hey, you know, I don't got a problem with tall girls. I have an issue with tall girls. No, but I can tell like he isn't feeling it. Because <laughs> of her height. Yeah, but hey, look, the you know, low job is a low job. Hey, <laughs> sometimes you just gotta climb a tree, will you? <laughs> Yeah, but after that, we're going to watch the new Zor film. That's like a date. Oh, yeah. I might not make that, actually. You're not scared, are you? Oh, <laughs> no. I'm just not very good with blood. It's not real, Will. Yes, Simon, thank you. I am aware of how cinema works. <laughs> Any blood makes it really easy. I'm the same. I don't like blood. Once, I saw some and I didn't like it. Right. <laughs> You're so alike. Are we? Most people don't know blood. Yeah, you are. Anyway, I saw the best out of Simon in here. We won't be long. Might I you to hang out? Wait, I'll come with you and... Oh, right. I like your glasses. Thanks. Do you need them to see better? Yes. So as I heard it carry off, Simon was discovering that it wasn't just Tara's boyfriend, it was also her project. Are we can... No, bro. Why else you wear glasses? <laughs> if, I, if I could see, I would need them. In the female version of Neil, bro. <laughs> I've been looking around much longer. It's just my feet are really hurting. <gasps> oh my god! That's no. how I be feeling. Looking around much longer. It's just my feet are really hurting. Yeah, that's the reason. It is. You would look so cute in that. Yeah. Um, is the shirt sort of nice? Not just the shirt, the whole thing. Really? The shirt. Were you looking at this? I think it's great. It's so great, isn't it? I was just saying, look really good in it. It would. It'd look really good in it. Not the cardigan, though. Especially the cardigan and the bow tie. Oh, the bow tie is amazing. You should try it on. How are you suddenly so involved? Oh yes, please just try it on. <laughs> we don't have to really try good. it. On. But I'm going to look exactly like the dummy. Please for me. Do you not think you'll look weird? Please. No. God, all right for you, but not for him. She's a bit precious, isn't she? <laughs> It was a mark of how desperate Simon was. Sometimes you gotta put your foot down, man. Sometimes you gotta put your foot down and draw that line, you feel me? Bro, says the one who wore Christmas onesies with me with the headband. That was okay. That wasn't a foot down. It was, it was pink. <laughs> Christmas onesies with the headband. That wasn't a foot down moment. But if you tried to make me put the, buy that foot with a cake down. Oh, but it's okay. <laughs> to, wear, to wear a pink woman's onesie with the bow on her head. Because yes, I look good in it. This is different. You did look good. Was Toulouse's virginity? <laughs> they was willing to let Tara dress him look, up like an eccentric different. posh child. <laughs> oh my god. It's shit, isn't it? You look adorable. It looks fantastic. My <laughs> creation has come to life. <laughs> I have to tell everyone. All staff to dressing. All no, staff mate, to dressing. come on. You look amazing. I really fancy you in that. Do you? Yeah. Put the glasses on. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take it off now. Oh. Not yet. You're like my wet dream. I need to get a photo. Come on, Simon. Smile. Oh. Hands off, everyone. He's mine. Simon, can I have one okay smile like that? I swear to God. Who has done this to you? I <laughs> don't you. Geek Sheep was last year. In a way, it was a compliment. <laughs> I'd never been called Sheep before. 
What is it with fucking girls? They need shop assistants to their friends. They're not. You've just met them and they're trying to sell you stuff. Look, I think before this goes any further, you need to tell Tara that Kerry isn't my type. What does that mean? You've only kissed three girls. Your type is anyone who'll let you. All right, fine. Look, I don't want to seem really shallow, but she's a big peak. Is she? Oh, did it escape your notice? She's a giant. So she's tall. Come on, you're always saying how desperate you are. Do you honestly think you'll get better? Yes, I'd have thought <laughs> so. Really? <laughs> May I remind you of Charlotte Hinchcliffe? She went out on then. She was not only fit and popular, but also normal sized. Okay, so Kerry might not be the fittest girl ever, but she'll almost certainly give you a blowjob if you stick with it. Oh, God, I know. My <laughs> Beggars can't be choosers. You feel me? She's offering blowies. I mean, <laughs> you can regret it later on in life. But <laughs> <laughs> at this moment, go for it. Your head's telling me one thing, and my cock another. It's a genuine dilemma. I mean, is using her for sex totally unethical? She's often for your. It is a dilemma that all of us men face at one point or another. A penis in her mouth, not pay you to ask questions in Parliament. <laughs> You'd like a blowjob, wouldn't you? Yes, obviously. <clears throat> Oh, God, this is a fucking nightmare. And having Neil and Jay follow us around isn't helping. What? Are you going to come out, then? I can't see you. You're not even hiding. Your new girlfriend's big, isn't she? She's not my girlfriend. <laughs> no, she's a fucking canary wolf. <laughs> you can bring your girlfriend to my birthday, if you like, Will. Is that a joke? No, it'll help push the numbers up. It'll help push the height up. Thanks, Simon. So, has she given you a blower yet, then? Here in Waterside? Oh, yeah, Neil, I've had two. One on the escalator and one in Nando's. Really? No, Neil, not really. You gonna go for it, then? I mean, she's a freak, but there's nothing like a blowjob. And you'd know because you've had so many blowjobs. Yeah. When was your first then, Jay? Oh, long time back. Many suck jobs ago now. Years. Years ago? Bollocks. I got one off the cleaner when I was 12. Who was your cleaner? Gary Glitter. Was he good? Oh, he was brilliant, mate. I pissed right in her mouth. What? Why would you do that? Is that even possible? Yes. Huh? That's how you finish blowjobs? And she said I was the best she'd ever had. Three mouthfuls of piss. Thought she had to get on with the hoovering. Oh, hi guys. Hi. Come on, Simon, we better get going. We don't want to miss the film. Yeah, we're off too, actually. Oh, no. Yeah, off to get a zinger tower milk. <laughs> it was clear that tonight wasn't about <laughs> it at all. And if he thought it would make Tara happy, Simon would have set me up on a blind date with a plastic bag full of his own shit. I don't think she's yeah, that bad, right. just a bit big. Oh, that one's meant to be awesome. Completed it. Oh, he came out last week. Completed it. What about this? Championship manager. Completed it, mate. You can't complete it. Yeah, I know, but I got so good at it that the FA offered me a role in the England setup. Did they? I took Woking from the conference to the Champions League in six seasons. Stuff like that doesn't go unnoticed, Neil. Oh, hey, Jay, look at this. Nice people swallow. A mean spunk. <laughs> yeah. What about this one? Honk if you want a blowjob. We should stick it on Kerry. She loves giving blowjobs. We'd have to get a bigger one. <laughs> yeah, good one. <laughs> Actually, I know where this should go. After becoming possibly the first people ever to actually laugh at a bumper sticker, Jay and Neil's day got even better when they saw something rare and exotic in the shopping centre. Hey, Jay, look. Fucking hell, what's he doing here? Dunno. Shopping? Gilbert. Gilbert! <laughs> <laughs> A few years ago, I'd seen King Kong at the cinema. <laughs> now, I was on a date with That's so childish, bro. That's, That's too pretty good. That was funny, though. <laughs> I swear I remember being that age. Doing some stuff like that. Uh, uh, I see you in high school. So? <laughs> with her. Oh. This is very violent. Yeah. Do you feel alright? With the blood? Yes, shush. Are you okay? Fine, thanks, yeah. A bit hot. Remember, it's not real. Kerry's attempt to comfort me with her massive hand did exactly the opposite. There was no way out. The horror, the hand, the horror, the hand. It was all too much. I told Simon I didn't like blood. Sorry, I think I need to get some air. Oh dear. I'll say this for Carrie. She made a great human popcorn shield. Meanwhile, by the time he'd driven Tara home, Simon was getting withdrawal symptoms because he'd gone more than five minutes without sticking his tongue down her throat. Well, I think that went really well. I could tell Carrie likes him. She's amazing, isn't she? So beautiful. Yeah, sort of. She's quite tall. 
What do you mean? Oh no, what are they doing? They know about me, right? Totally, hence the welcome party. Simon, this is my mum and dad who happen to be stepping outside the front door for no reason, just as we arrive. No, Simon, I'm Tara's mum. She's told me all about you. Hello. Whereas because I'm Tara's father, she's told me virtually nothing about you. <laughs> oh, she doesn't really know very much about me. Not that there's anything oh. bad to know. This is your car, is it? Well, at least you're not driving my daughter around in some souped-up death trap. Oh, no, it's uh, just the stopgap, really. Trying to get enough money together to buy something less crap. Mum and Dad don't like swearing, Simon. Oh, sorry. What did I say? Oh, crap! Is crap a swear word? Crap! <laughs> Let's just err uh, on the side of caution on that one, shall we? Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> it's OK. Oh, look, someone's got a funny bumper sticker. What does this one say? Honk if you want to... Oh. What? <laughs> That's not mine. Well, it's on your car. <laughs> this friend's did him dirty, bro. He had the I swear to God, they're supposed to stick that on the girl. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jay, bro. Jay always trying to do something to Simon, bro. Always. Dad, can you just go inside, please? Mom, tell him. Uh, it's all right, Simon. I can see it's meant to be a joke. I literally have no idea how they got there. It's just not very funny, though, is it? I mean, why would you want to drive around with that on the back of your car. It just makes you look dirty. I'm not. I mean, it's not like I'm obsessed with blowjobs or, or cocks. Honestly, I'm not. Say goodnight to Simon, Tara. Okay. So while Simon struggled to get rid of something impossibly clingy, so did I. I don't think they should have thrown stuff. What kind of a person throws stuff at another person when that person isn't feeling very well? Anyway, thanks, Kerry, but I think I meant to walk you home. I want to make sure you get home safely. Yep, well, here I am, so thank you. You can kiss me goodnight if you want to. Oh, uh, okay. Right. Right, well, better go. Good night then, get home safely. Nah, that's enough for tonight. Kiss me one more time. No, night, Kerry. OK, I ran away, but she's still good on my kiss list. <laughs> Number four, Big Kerry. Considering it had the combined brain power of Jay and Neil behind it, the blowjob sticker joker worked amazingly well. It's impossible to get off. Tara's dad was really angry. I'm going to have to get the car resprayed, I reckon. Try and pick a less shit colour. Brilliant. How's your girlfriend, Will? If you mean Kerry, she's not my girlfriend. Don't she changed her Facebook status to in a relationship then? Has she? How did you find her on Facebook? It's easy when you know where to look. Which is in a group for lanky munters. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I reckon it's all good. Tara told me something very interesting about Kerry. She bangs her head wherever she goes, no? She told me you kissed her last night. Did you use a fucking step ladder? No. Why'd you do it? I thought you weren't interested. Oh, I don't know. I can't decide. And at that moment, it was easier to kiss her than to not kiss her. Were you scared? A bit. It sounds to me like you're closing in on that BJ. Maybe it'll even happen at Neil's party. No, no, I think it's all wrong. I'm going to de-invite her from the party. Oh, no way, she's got to come. I need to get the numbers up. Were you free and Tara? I'm stuck on five. Four. But... I think she was a nice girl. Yeah. I, like, he I, always be messing with, like, the hot ones who are just me. Yeah. I but think, she's nice and pretty. I'm kind of, I was kind of like we were in high school. Where I felt like I was... I had too many standards and expectations and I looked out every flaw. And that's why I remained a virgin in high school. Hey, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you putting out information. <laughs> that's okay. That's a, my subscribers and me, we connect. Do you feel me? But yeah. So what, college alcohol is your standards with them? <laughs> alcohol tends to change your standards. <laughs> oh, I know. I've seen. <laughs> We're going to continue to play the play play show. Kerry comes as well, that'll make it six. <laughs> Five. Taking us to the party is a bit like admitting we're going out, when all I really want from her is a blowjob. It would be morally wrong. Look, why not just get the blowjob and then see how you feel? I've got an idea. Oh. Why not get the blowy, ask for a fuck. If she says no, then dump her. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, I'd like to thank everyone for their fucking useless advice. Thank you. I don't know what your problem is. I've never been out with a girl I liked anyway. What, apart from the last one who made you cry? Well... Oh, that is bang out of all What? After everything he said? Yeah, but some things just aren't okay. 
You all right, Jay? Yeah, I'm fine. Apologies. <laughs> for that? Yes, for that. Well, I have literally no idea what the rules are then. <laughs> I swear to God, as much as Dana said about his mama, he got to apologize for that. Right. They wildly. They dirty. Water side. Water side. Uh-oh. What did you say? Nothing. Right. A week's after school detention for both of you. Oh, what? Two weeks. Nah, come on, sir. Three weeks. But, sir, what? four weeks detention? <laughs> Started tonight. See you later. <clears throat> That's tough. Oh, fucking hell. I'm now I'm going to be late to my party. Right, OK, I've made up my mind. You're right. Maybe a blowjob is worth it. I'm going to play the long game with Kerry. Just make sure you don't play the tall game. She'd win every time <laughs> because she's tall. <laughs> yes, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> that evening, as we stared at Neil's impossibly attractive sister, two thoughts oh crossed my, my mind. Surely she, she must be... I didn't think he had it. I didn't think he bought it. He we... didn't have no bag. Exactly. Adopted, and could this party get any worse? Turns out, it could. Oh, I oh say. my God. What must you think of me racing around the house in my briefs like we're at some sort of Roman orgy? And he will be back in a minute. He's just finishing off up up to Jess Club. You know it's not a fancy dress, Simon. I'm not in fancy dress. It's a new look for Simon. I chose it. You should get your girlfriend to dress you too, Will. You look like shit. She's really rude to you. Did you two have a thing? Well, with Katie, he wishes. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Come on, Keza. Let's go and get our men some more drinks. Lager for William. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the cheap French beer will numb the shame of being seen in public with her. Oh, come on, it's fine. She's nice. It's the definition of nice, someone who's a bit boring and embarrassing and much taller than you. Oh, I saw it. You didn't tell me you'd joined JLS. Brilliant. And you've come as a nerd. Yes, very droll. He's Bigfoot here, you know, your girlfriend. <laughs> oh, I can't go through with it. I don't fancy Carrie and I can't keep stringing her along. It's not right, is it? Or is it? That's nice. Fucking Donovan oh, wow. did it, he pinned me down in detention. Oh, Neil, what is that monstrosity? It was an accident, you remember, I fell off the garage. No, not the cast, what's on it? Cover it up, your granny's gonna be here in a minute. Neil. I thought he would've liked it. Why? Well, it was covered in cocks. <laughs> <laughs> How was detention? It was all right, apart from that. I even managed to give out a couple of invites. Did you? Yeah, while she was getting changed. I told them to be here early, so that should be them now. Oh, please be fit, please be fit. Hello. Brilliant. It's a bring oh a freak party. God. Say what you like, but with these two, us four, and your girlfriends, that's got me up to the magic ten. Eight. Ah, oh. oh, shit. Neil, yeah. is it okay if I brush my teeth? No, it is not. I'm well, Big John and David. Like, what do you mean it's okay if you brush your teeth? Right, it's weird. You got your toothbrush with you? It made it a. You could have just waited. <laughs> Neil's was the worst 18th birthday party ever. Oh, my unless you're Oh, get a room. Sorry, mate. Actually, can we use your room? Depends. What for? What do you think? You've lost me. I want to spend some time alone and not in your kitchen with Tara. All oh, right. Time together, yeah. What for? Neil. Oh, right. That. I've gone in. Cheers, mate. Oh, try not to spunk on the sheets. Do you want any more crisps, Greg? Oh, and I was left with yeah. Kerry, who might give me a blowjob, but might also swallow the rest of me. Oh, there you are. <laughs> that laugh. Now, she knows. She knows she too goddamn giant. I said, I don't got a problem with y'all, girl. Don't have an issue. But you know. You, you can't sit in his lap. I swear, what about your size? I said, I swear to God. Y'all need him. That don't, hey, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. He is, he is. Uh. Sorry, am I alone? Well, why don't you come and sit on my lap instead? Plenty of room to both sit down. Okay, Mr. Mm. Grump Grumps. Kerry, um, we need to talk. We are talking. No, not here, in private. Oh, good. More kissing. You're a really good kisser. Am I a bad kisser? <laughs> do you think I'm a good kisser? Okay, <laughs> Kerry, I'm really sorry to do this. What? We're not going out. Yes, we are. No, we aren't. 
I don't want to be a boyfriend. If anyone asks, I never was, all right? Mm. Oh. Hey. That didn't come out perfectly, but you know what I mean. I'll give you a blowjob. I'm mm. sure that you will, Kerry, but I just can't accept. Is it because I'm a bit taller than you? Yes. No. <laughs> Calm down. Can't be that upset. We were never really going out. We only met the other day. <laughs> she just had some bad news. <laughs> I hope Will and Carrie are getting on okay. Mm. She's such a sweetheart and she's had such a rough time. I'd love it if she met someone really nice. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Does Will really like her? Whatever you want. Sid, does Will really like her? Can we not talk about Will right now? It's putting me off. <sighs> God, that sounded like Kerry. Better go and check she's OK. I'm sure she's oh, fine. Yeah. Simon, you know what she's been through? Oh, for fuck's sake, well, don't fucking bother start me off if you're not going to finish it. Sorry, did you say something? No. <laughs> I definitely feel that, bro. Why would this torture that's wrong, bro. I did That's... not think that, that she was doing that, bro. Uh, <laughs> I did not think that she was doing that. Because she did, because she talked about Carrie so much. Yeah. I guess she's the ultimate multitasker, you feel me? To get kissed on the neck, giving a hand job, talking about Carrie, all at the same time. <laughs> he dumped me! Oh, dear. He left me on. So That's not strictly true, is it, Kerry? He tried to have sex with me and then he dumped me. Is that correct, Kerry? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. For what? I've actually been really nice. You took advantage of her. No, I didn't. I think that's a pretty low. Do you really? <laughs> You're okay, Kezza. He dumped me. No, I couldn't have because we were never going out. He used me and then he dumped me because I'm so big. Oh, I don't know how you can do this, especially after everything Carrie's been through. It hasn't been an easy ride for me either, trying to stay out of hot clutches. Her dad died last month. <laughs> That's not That's fair. awful. Obviously. <laughs> but not. What? Well, it's not. It's not relevant, is it? You disgusting. <laughs> It's not relevant, though. <laughs> <laughs> bro, we are heartless, bro. <laughs> <laughs> hey, she said you. Bro, but she lying, lying, though. She is lying. I will get at you, Will. And all he did was like, just tell her he's not interested. You I mean, me? I did feel bad for her, but and he's he, lying. And he even turned down the blowjob, turned down all yeah, the sexual cause she things. Yeah, because he said, I'm breaking up with you, or whatever. Yes. I just don't have to. I'll give you a blowjob. He's like, I'm sure you will, but no. <laughs> <laughs> so he didn't use her in any way, no. form, or fashion. No, I think you should leave. But I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> the dad timing is unfortunate, but it's not my fault. If you're interested in the truth, Kerry hands out blowjobs like they're going out of fashion, and by all accounts, I'm one of the only people to have turned her down. <laughs> will, I want you to leave. What, for turning down oral sex from the Empire State Building? For trying to let down gently rather than place my glands into a stupid, boring mouth? Will, I want you to leave my house and never come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on? I've been told to leave for dumping a girl I wasn't going out with. Oh, fuck. And by the way, did you not think it important to mention at any stage that Kerry's dad had died? Oh, shit, yeah, I forgot. Didn't forget about the blowjobs, I did you? <laughs> <laughs> All about the blowjobs. Couldn't stop going on about the blowjobs. But the dead dad, that just slipped your mind. Well, thanks very much, Simon. See you at school, mate. <laughs> to be fair to Simon, I have probably forgotten my own mother's name if Tara had been wanking me off. Life is so unfair. Yes, and? Neil's dad phoned my mum and I've been grounded for three weeks. I did nothing oh, wrong. Wow. Not nothing. Yes, nothing. If anything, I did the right thing by not letting her give me a blowjob. You didn't handle it brilliantly, though, did you? OK, so right and wrong don't matter. It's all about presentation, is it? It's like with me and Gilbert. I did nothing. I get a month's detentions. You did say waterside. Yes, nothing. It's not offensive. It's not a swear word. Yeah, but... Yeah, but what? What, do I have to draw you a fucking picture? I said Waterside and I got a month's detentions. How is that fair? Anyway, sorry for ruining your birthday, Neil. No, no, it was awesome. Was it? Yeah, after you guys left and my dad went to bed, Kerry gave me a blowy upstairs. 
What yeah. did she? Because Tara said, beep, 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 beep. "Fuck off!" Tara said she was still really upset about it the next day. Well, yeah, that was the only downside. She was still crying a little bit on the first one. Oh God! It may not have been extravagant, but Neil will always remember his 18th. Mainly because Jay drove his mum's gift into a wall. Time ejaculated on his duvet, and I ruined the evening by comparing the grieving girl I was supposedly seeing to an immense cocksucking American landmark. Yeah, I would say that's the only thing he did, baby. When he said I turned down a bunch of from the Empire State Building. <laughs> <laughs> and then he said I wouldn't stick my glands into her stupid, roaring mouths. Yeah, I have to add all that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but that was such a good episode. That was <laughs> that's how we got. You guys got a favorite video suggestion? You can subscribe to Patreon and drop it in the comment section. We out.